Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am The Little Gamer and today we are carrying on with our playthrough of my time at Sunrock. Uh, we started this playthrough uh, after the full release came out. When a sandstorm strikes, remember to raise your sand wall. Okay, so we have a sandstorm today. Now, last episode, we reached our new um, new season. We did the uh, we did the yakmel racing thing, um, as well as get our second yakmel. But today, we should have everything in our possession to build everything for our water tower, which is what we're going to do. So, we need a water tank. water tank the water storage part of the new water tower reinforced with metal it's such stronger than the old large one okay so our tower, water tower is going to be bigger and better than the one they had frame fit for a new water tower sturdy enough to hold quite a bit of weight Oh wow, they sell for loads, but who who would buy that off me is the question. I suppose it'd be a commission, wouldn't it? Build that allows water in the tank to be much more portable and as such is a very essential part of the machine. Fabulous. So we have to install it. However, I don't want to run around with my hand in front of my face. So we're going to get out our sand gear and switch up into our sand gear. And it looks like our roses are done. Rose and willow. So we get rose, willow and plant fibre. Which is fine some more seeds so those are all for Burgess how are these doing still about four days to go so I don't know what else I'm going to plant here but I may make it like the three by three so let's go out let's pick up our stuff and we'll head out and install our water tower appetite for construction winter sandstorm I feel like it should be blowing snow and not sand but yeah. so Mian said she was doing pipes and things oh water tower we still gotta break it I thought we broke it already oh well Oh, so we could have done them one at a time if we'd have wanted to. <laughs> Plop! Oh, it is a lot bigger than the old one. You builders did a mighty fine job once again. Just in time, too. I believe our next shipment of water is scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Our town owes you two our gratitude. I've never had a cutscene where uh, everyone's in their hats. I do like that, that it, uh, the cutscenes reflect the weather. I do like her hat though, better than mine. Commissioner, you really ought to handsomely reward these builders for their efforts. Uh, right, I'll add that to the tab as well. <laughs> Can make them pay. Well, 
well. Bang up job on the uh, water tower, I must say. You know, it's funny. When you and Mian got here, I bet old Mason the two of you wouldn't last a week. Luckily, he's so far off by now, I doubt I'll ever have to make good on that bet. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, where was I? Ah, that's right. You did such a good job of following orders that I've decided on behalf of the Commerce Guild that you deserved a bonus for all your hard work. Here's the amount promised by the city and... 50 goals on top. <laughs> That's right. All for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Bye-bye now. Okay, we got 6,050 gold. Got the flow back. Prepare the water tower. Fab. So where's Burgess to give these flowers? There's Mort. Oh, we... We suddenly have a lot less jobs to do. Mountain Rose? Did, did I not plant the right thing? No, I planted Rose Willow, not Mountain Roses. Okay, where's my Yakmo? Okay, so I've got to do that again. Um, I do hate these sandstorms though. No. Mind you, I suppose everybody hates sandstorms, that's the whole point. Um, but it just sends my eyes googly. <laughs> um, right then, so how much gold have we got now? 14 grand. Fabulous. So we can make our yard bigger and better, can't we? Get it home. We can expand on here. So we get more health points, more damage, more defense. Oh wow, that's a lot more. Oh, space for it. A lot more space for it. Yes. That was not as big as I expected it to be. Right, let's move this and this and this. Oh, no, I don't want to change the size. No, I don't. I don't want to move that. There we go. Move the whole house back. Back there. Move these. Does mean I can have this little patch here instead of in front of the boxes. I'll we'll get an extra one. I'll put out an extra one. So we now have a bit more space. So let's move these guys over here. Yay, lots more space. So I want to make a all refinery. Let's see if we have everything. No. And I want to make a Fire powered generator. Oh, we have everything for that. Fabulous. Cup. Fuel capacity. Generates power by burning almost anything. Okay, so I don't know. I don't actually know what it does. I'm presuming it provides power for everything. 
So let's, uh, so we've got our recyclers, we've got an extra grinder, a tailing machine, forging machine. <sighs> right. Okay, so we've got our refiner and I want to see what we can because I managed to grind some stuff. So let's, uh, let's pick up our normal furnace as well so that we can see what the difference is. So a civil furnace takes seven bloodstone, but our normal furnace takes one. One, we're doing that. So it increases yield, and another one to make it rare. So it increases yield, fuel capacity, and higher Q. Cool. So recycler is the same. So that's now rare quality, water consumption. I really want water consumption. So I think we can refine it again. We lose the gem, but we can like cycle it. Um, but I'm not going to bother with that. So civil furnace, rare quality, grinder. So if I do the tailoring machine and the forging machine, so I think it means they should do better essentially. So this is Opal's Quarry, Monsters, Civil Corp Store. So I'm presuming that just increases the fuel capacity. Um, hey, hey, right, I'm going to put all these down and be back in a minute. Okay then, so here is our furnace. I've got to work out where to put it. Let's uh, ooh. Let's, um, let's pick up these and put these over here by the cooking station. I ought to probably put the furnace. Um, Why is that always putting it down? Right, let's turn around. Oh. Only rotates it one way. Okay. Interact. Okay, so it's a water tank and a fuel tank. So we, so now that we've built this, we don't have to keep adding fuel. Is that what that means? Oh well, we've got uh, a lot of fuel. We don't need fuel at all. Right, uh, let's, let's harvest these then. So we actually need rows mountain roses not rose willow so sand rice and leek wheat rose willow that's what i planted mountain roses here we go oh they take a week wow 
I wish I'd planted the right thing. Right, what else have we got? Sweet potato peppers, stewed cantaloupe, rhyhorn seeds, chestnut seeds. They're all biggish stuff. Rose willow, wheat, sand leeks, sand rice. We're a bit low on sand leeks. So I'll, uh, I'll plant some of those. And what needs water? You need water, because this is the new one. Ooh, a level three plot of land. Right, okay then. So I am going to mine the rest of the day and we will see what happens tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping something happens tomorrow. Oh wait, I was going to build ore refinery, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, we need a bronze pipe. Where's that? There we go. Pick up. Water consumption, fuel consumption. A machine that can sort fine stones from raw stones and will sometimes provide rare gemstones in the process. Okay, so this is a great way to get gems then. We'll put you over here, shall we? And we need the gems from... Oh! Oh, I shouldn't have used all my stone, should I? I, u I used it all because I needed some money. But quartz... We can get the higher level stuff from... Broken power stones times nine. So we can get bits from those. Copper ore, stone, um, oh, okay, oh well, you might use up that first, um, let's recycle some stone then, at least I know I can stick my stone in there, and the annoying thing is I've got to pick up the machines I want to refine. So most of these are all lapis lazuli. But that's um, pretty good. But So these are already rare quality. Three, let's, let's refine that. Ooh, mining yield and tool strength. When quarry, 9% chance to drop extra resources. That's fab. Can we find my feather duster? Let's do that. <laughs> Just because I want to see what it does. Cleaning power. Extra 1%. Let's see, bronze spear. So we need more bloodstone. Uh, essentially. And and we can increase decorations as well. Huh. Sounds good. Right, I'm going to do some mining. Um, and then we'll come back tomorrow, see what's happened after the sandstorm and the water tower. So I'll see you all in a little bit. Now that the water tower is repaired, water prices are back to normal. Fabulous. So I actually managed to get to the last level of the Deco Station mines. And we got a present. We got um, an elegant tea table and this masterpiece stone spires. A painting made with an exquisite technique can, was created by a famous painter in the old world. Um, so these are for our house, which we are running out of space in our house, but 
but uh, to be fair, I'm not really gonna aim for decorating. Um, that looks that just looks like a kid's painting, kid's drawing. A good kid's drawing, but still a kid's drawing. Ah oh, well. Um, so that's good. Oh, we need to change our hat back because we no longer have a sandstorm. Hello there. I have heard all about you. So glad to finally meet you face to face. I am Trudy, the mayor of Sandrock. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to come by and introduce myself since I just got back in town. We don't get a lot of new folks, so I'm mighty glad you're here. I'd also like to extend an invitation to the next fireside on Sunday. We've got a lot to talk about. No doubt you've heard about what Logan's done. Hmm. <sighs> you seem to be adjusting quite well to Sandrock, and we're happy to have you. See you around. Oh, um, commissions? I hadn't checked on any of that yet. I'll have Matilda and the church fill me in right away and get back to you. Um, actually, there is one small thing I guess I could use help with. Although I'm, I'm sure you're very busy. You don't need to trouble yourself too much with this, but uh, I do need a new desk at City Hall. It seems Matilda took a liking to my old one and uh, made off with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'd give it back if I asked, but uh, perhaps it would just be easier if we both had nice desks, don't you think? So if you do get time, it would be quite nice of you to help me with this minor thing. Thank you. Okay, so we have met Trudy. That's cool, so we finally meet the mayor. What do we need? A lot of basic leather. Leather. Oh, we need an office chair as well. Okay. Okay, so it's a working desk and an office chair. Okay. Let's, uh grab Trudy before she runs away. Let's oh, just stand on the train track, you. shall we? I've got lots of things to do, so I'd better get started. Okay, mission completed. Fab, so... What's this? From Nia, a very long letter. I heard from the professor that there was a terrorist attack in Sandrock. Something about the water tower being blown up? My heart skipped so many beats when I heard that. I was so, so worried for you. I didn't know you were okay until I read in the Tumbleweed Standard that no one was injured. Later, I finally found the courage to tell your ma about it. I didn't want her to worry. She told me everything's going to be alright, that you're strong. But I could tell beneath that calm demeanour she was really worried, since this bandit is still out there. I didn't sleep a wink the night I heard the news kept having images of the water tower burning, running through my head. I decided then and there to go to Sandrock and see you with my own eyes to make sure you are okay. I already asked for leave from the botany school and bought a train ticket. All goes well, I should be there around two days after you get this letter. Can you please pick me up from the station, pretty please? Oh, I changed my hairstyle a bit, so attached is a new photo, I don't want to get that scene where you walk past me on the train platform not recognising your long lost friend. I'm excited to see you. So there we go, Nia is coming for a visit. Grace. Thanks to you I was able to finish my essay. Hopefully the work we've done will help the people of now understanding the those of the past, even if my theories don't turn out to be 100% correct. Attached is a copy of the essay. I cited you as playing an important role in the research. Check it out if you get some time. P.S. Attached is just a summary. The actual paper is 80 pages long. Yes, no. 
I wouldn't want to read it. So, missions. We have nothing to do. Other than all those blue arrows that seem to have appeared on. Uh, I wonder how long it takes for yakmals to grow up. Oh, there we go. This answers my question. You can check on all your animals by choosing view animal information. Their stats are here, their well-being is affected by hunger, how often you pet them and how clean their environment is. When an animal is young, high vitality makes it grow faster. As an adult, high vitality means they will produce more items for you. You can name your animals here. Okay. Well, I'll think about what I want to name them. But uh, they're growing at a similar rate then. But I suppose whoever ate more tomatoes is going to grow slower. Because they didn't like the tomatoes. Alright, let's put everything away. Okay, so... What's this? Took it out, tailor made, Mort. Oh yes, we've still got to visit Mort. So let's go on an excursion, shall we? broken a bone or something. Maybe I should go to the doctor. Don't worry, this lake still works. Kinda. I can make it to the clinic. Wait, no. No time for health concerns. I've got this commission here from Haiti that needs to be done ASAP. Well, off I go then. S see, see you. Really? You do that for me? Wow. Well, okay. It's just a normal book case. When you're finished, just take it over to Haiti for me. No, I have no excuse not to go see Dr. Fate. Ow! I bit my tongue. <laughs> okay. See ya. Poor girl. There was a question mark in here, wasn't there? Oh! Finally! Chromium pick hammer, chromium axe, still haven't made an iron axe, iron latch, chromium steel bar and canvas. So let's get those two and that one. So these will cost a lot but uh, I may as well buy them now while I've got the money. And I'm not buying any interior stuff until the uh, Until I've actually got the space for it. So I think we should finally complete. So I need to put canvas on to craft for that. That'll take a few hours. And let's put on some chromium ore. Let's put on a full lot. Let's take out these. Put on a full lot. So we've got a bunch of it. Um, right, and then... And then head... Oh wait, we may as well see if we can... May as well build the bookcase while we're here. Attack up! Okay. 
Oh, I think I've already got a bookcase. But that doesn't matter. Mission. I need to take that one out. Because that was annoying me. Thank you kindly, Builder. I've been quite looking forward to... Say, wasn't it Mian who took my... Hmm. So that's what happened. That's a real shame. Mian is always doing stuff like this. She should have just asked me. I have plenty of meds for this kind of situation. Here, take a few to her for me, will you? Can't believe she was so bent on finishing this for me. Hey, doing all right? So, how did our sand wall perform? Did it keep your house spick and span, sand free, speckless even? Awesome. Glad to hear it. I had a theory that a flying sand type would be weak against walls. Well, in any case, this is still only a prototype. At some point, I'll look into improving my design and call it, hmm, I don't know. Something along the lines of Sandwall Level 2. Work in title, work in title. In any case, don't forget to always come in and check on my catalog over at the CJ. Short for Construction Junction. And stay up to date on what kind of architectural additions you may be in the market for. Thanks for the feedback. Catch you later. Cool, so let's find... Oh, a Taran Remedy. Let's find Mian then. Hey, how's it going? Medicine? Oh, thanks. How'd the commission go? Did Haiti like it? Great, how nice of her. But even with the medicine, Dr. Fain said, implied, I need to work half days for the better part of the month. I'm already starting to stress. I... I don't know. That's just how I am. Almost everyone in my family is a successful builder, and it's just assumed that if we're not doing something productive, we're wasting time. Back when Elsie took my license, I mean, it was my fault for losing it, and I was letting everyone down by not taking commissions. My parents would be so disappointed if they saw me loafing around, letting my workshop rating stagnate. Now, because I overworked myself, I'm going to get behind again. And it's even worse than last time. If I really spent half my time cooped up in my workshop for two weeks, I think I'm gonna go crazy. A bee? <laughs> A hobby. Yeah. Now why didn't I think of that? Hobbies can be productive. You know, I've always kind of wanted to take up Zeke on his offer to do some greenhouse planting, but never had the time. Good idea. Thanks for all your help. Because of you, now I have medicine, no pending commissions, and a plan for my downtime. I feel better already. Okay, you've spent enough time on me. You need to go back to doing stuff for yourself. Let's catch up again when I'm back to 100%. <sighs> Workaholic indeed. Although I think that's... Uh... There needs to be another word for work, higher word for work, workaholic. Yeah. Well, they say work yourself into an early grave, I suppose, but there needs to be just one word for it. Hey, how you been? Not getting tired of the builder life, I hope. All that diving and adventuring, not for the faint of heart, is it? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm not trying to butter you up. But, uh, coincidentally, there is a little something I could use your help with. I heard from a friend in Atara that there are a lot of nasty rumors about Sandrock circulating in that city. Some of them are really out there. They say at night packs of roving monsters roam the deserts by the hundreds. They say us town folk are a wild bunch, always at each other's throats. They say people out here are fighting each other for water. I mean, there's a grain of truth in some of that. But for the most part, isn't that just the most malarkey you've ever heard? So, you know me. 
I came up with a plan that in one fell swoop will not only dispel these nasty rumors, but will also bring in some more visitors. I'm talking landscape photography, baby! We can take some nice landscape photos around Sand Rock to show people what really goes on around here. Then I'll send these photos to my friend and he'll get them published in the Atara Times. Once people see how nice it is here, I reckon all those rumors will have no ground to stand on and just fade away on their own. What do you think? Can you help me take some photos? Great! Ah, uh, here's a list of the spots I was thinking would look good in a newspaper. Come on back when you've taken the photos. I think I gotta clean some grease out from under the oven. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh -huh. more part-time work. Yep. Sure. So he needs some more sand carp as well. Okay, so take a photo of water world, take a photo of a bumble ant, take a photo of the train station, take a photo of the water tower. Okay. So I presume we actually have to take these with our camera. Um, show player, no. Pan up, there we go. Save. Okay, so we have that. We want Water World. Where's Water World? Water Tower and the Bumble Ant. Right, let's find a Bumble Ant there up here. So the water tower we can do, um, but where's the water world? <laughs> What's the bridge? Is water world Burgess's shop? I don't think so. off, we want to pan out, we want to go up, oh does this not include, okay, how's that, a decent photo, and a water world, right where's water world? By the stairs, souvenir shop, game center, commerce guild, a oh, water world. Oh, is that the shop? Oh, it is the shop. Okay. So I was right, yes. Do we want a yakmal in the photo? Not particularly. Okay. Wow. Oh, that gets us used to using the camera a little bit more. Just gotta work out how to save them onto my PC. Not just on the game. Might do it automatically. I'll have to have a play around. So that's better for thumbnails. Hey! These are some pretty ace shots. Are you sure you weren't a photographer before you picked up the building gig? <laughs> and 
tank. Only someone with a real sand rock soul could take a shot like this. All right, well, that about does it. I'll send him off to my friend and I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully this will help spread the good word about this old place I call home. Thanks for all your help. Uh-huh. The fish crisis is urgent. Is it really? Right, let's use this point before I forget. Oh, it's a workshop point. Fuel consumption reduction. Well, we don't need to bother with that. Mm, increase the efficiency of water on the crops. Yes, please. Um... I wish there was a may way to maybe reset it, but then I suppose that would be way too easy to do. So we need some more fish, we're waiting for those to grow. Ooh, time capsule we might be able to make. Um, and things like that. But, uh, but we'll do that next episode. I'm going to obviously grind the rest of today. Um, and hopefully we'll find out what else the mayor wants us to do tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to go and do some sand fishing, uh, I think. Um, so this is the end of the video. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, please do all the things. Like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, all those things. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one.